Hey guys, I am back with the continuation of my um, October book haul part one. And sorry guys again that um, this is broke up into two parts, but uh, my camera, I don't know what my camera's problem is, but it's um, just cut me off. So anyways, as you can see, I am recording this um, on Monday because as you can see I'm wearing a different outfit. So um, I'm hoping that I can get this up before midnight because it's like 11 o'clock right now. So if I don't get it before midnight, it will be up, um, I guess, on Tuesday instead of Monday. But I'm recording this on Monday just so you guys know I am. So I am very excited to share with you guys the rest of the books, especially one that I got last week. Oh, I'm so pumped for it. So um, I'll go ahead and get started, and I hope you guys enjoy. If you have any questions or anything at all about the books, just let me know in the comments below. And all the details and links to Goodreads about the books will be in the description bar below, so you guys can know more information about the books. So further ado, um, I'm going to go ahead and start it, and I hope you guys enjoy. So the uh, first stack of books are from a small used bookstore that I um, don't go to very often because there's not very many um, YA books, but uh, they do have a good selection of adult books, but not very many YA books. So um, the uh, first book that I got here is The Lost Hero by Rick Rowland, and this is um, the first book in the Hughes Olympic series, and this is the middle grade book that I picked up. And I am so excited. This is the only series I have not read by this author. I've read the Percy Jackson series and his King Chronicles series. So this is the only one left. So, <laughs> and with the fourth one just recently came in out, I mean, came out, I mean, uh, this month. And I had to go on the bag ride of starting this series. I mean, I mean, seriously. If I love Percy Jack's series, I need to get around reading this one. So I'm hoping to start this one next month. Um, as soon as I can get uh, Son of Neptune and House of Hades, then I will start the series. So, But at least I got the first one if I do start it early. So very excited. Then I got um, Halo by Alexander Antonetto. This is... Um, first book in an Angel series, and I'm very excited to read it. I really like Angel books, and I've um, heard this one's really interesting, and this one's about a girl who's an angel, so, and falls in love with a human boy, so, can't wait. Kind of reminds me of the, uh, Unearthly series, so, really excited. Then I got The Lost Prince, which is by Julie Kagwa, and this is the first book in the prequel series to the Iron Fae, which on the series is called The Call of the Forgotten, and the Iron Trader comes out uh, next week on the 29th, and I'm so pumped for it, um, because the cover of that is so pretty, and I can't wait to add it to my collection to read, because um, I really need to catch up on the Iron Fae series. I'm like really behind, so can't wait. Then, right close to that used bookstore was a thrift store, and um, can't beat really good prices. So I went in there and checked out their book area, and they had, um, I picked up four books from there, and the first one being Saving the World and, ex um, and Other Extreme Sports, which is the third book in the Maxim Ride series by Jane Patterson, and this one I have not read. I have read the first two books, and I own the first book, and I'm really excited to uh, read this one, which I have read. Then I got um, a very beat-up copy of More Wick by Anna Rice, and I've been slowly collecting Anne Rice books, and I'm really excited to add this one to my collection, so big excited. Then I got uh, Evil Without a Trace, I mean, Without a Face, excuse me, Evil Without a Face by Jordan Dane, and this is a thrill, mystery thriller, and it sounds really interesting. I've never heard about this book or heard about the author, so I'm really excited to read it. And the last book um, that I got there is Born Identity, which is by Robert Laloom, yeah, Laloom, and this is, um, 
based off the movie, which I have seen a long, long time ago, so I'm looking forward to reading the book that inspired the movie. So, and as you can see, it has the uh, movie edition on the cover. Then, on the way home, me and my mom stopped by to get some pizza, and uh, while we were waiting for our pizza order, we went to Winn-Dixie, which was right next door, and I noticed that they had some books there, and I found a copy of Sisters Red by Jackson Pierce. This is the first book in her uh, fairy retelling series, and I've only read this one in the series, and I really want to reread it so that way I can read the other ones, pick up copies of them, so then that way I can um, be able to be ready for her new book that comes out in the series, which is called Cold Spell. So, very excited. And so that ends the second um, week. Now moving on to next, last week's, the third week. So uh, I got two books that week. And the first um, two books are the um, books that I got on Saturday. Me and my mom, and I mean both of my parents, me and my parents went to Walmart, um, further Walmart. And this one... Um, we uh, had some car trouble, so I went to the book area while my dad was um, dealing with the uh, car and stuff like that. So when my mom was shopping around, I went to the book area, and what do you know what I found? Never Fade by Alexander Bracken. Only copy left, and I almost gave up because this is the book that I was looking for. And I, and I walked by, I was about to leave, and I saw... I thought I saw it, and then and then I picked it up to see if I if, if I saw what I was seeing, and I was right. So <laughs> I was this close of not getting it because I almost overlooked it, but I was so excited that I spotted it at that last minute because I would have not gotten this book because I don't know what my Walmart that's close to me has promised, but they do not have it there for some reason. So I am very, very excited to have this one. I have started it. I actually started it yesterday. And I am slowly reading it because um, I want to uh, kind of sink it all in. And that way I can be able to um, just experiment and all with all the characters and be able to fall in love with all of them all over again, <laughs> if that makes any sense. So I am very excited to have this and cannot wait to meet this author next month. So yeah, and this cover is just so, so pretty. So yay on finding this. And then um, the next book is the first book in the Seven Realms series, which is The Demon King by Cindy Williams Chima. And I am very excited to have this one. I've been looking for this book. Um, for some reason, my Bones & Noble does not have it. So I, me and my mom were in the area to a, a different one. That was very close to where we went to that Walmart. And I grabbed it. And now I own it. And I'm really excited to read it. <laughs> so, yeah. And um, this one is a, new, is a uh, fantasy series. Um, she also has another... Um, series as well, and that one's a modern day, and this one's more in, like, the Game of Thrones kind of time period kind of fantasy, so I'm looking forward to it, and what's funny about Game of Thrones is that a lot of, uh, booktubers and bloggers actually mention if you guys, if you like that series, you would like this book series, so I'm excited. And then the last thing, um, which I picked up, um, yesterday is... The November issue of Seventeen, and who do you think is on it? No other than the actor who plays PETA on the Hunger Games series. So I am very excited to have this. They didn't have it on um, the second week that I went to Barnes & Noble, so when I saw this, I grabbed it. <laughs> and I am so excited to um, have it, and what do you know is in it. But... A page of the darkest mind and never fade advertising and one of the page and I kind of marked it so I am very excited that I saw this because it was funny that I got it that week and so I'm very excited about that so that's all of the um, books 
as well as the one magazine that I picked up, and I hope you guys enjoyed. And like I said, if you have any questions about any of the books, just let me know in the comments below. And I'll see you guys in my bookshelf tour, um, part one. And until then, I will see you guys soon, and happy reading, guys. Bye.